Russia is spending $400 billion into their already revolutionary infrastructure. From Arctic pipelines to high-speed rail and a mega-project that pushes beyond Earth itself, what are these projects and what do they have in store? Let's find out. Imagine you want to travel to Kazan from the capital city of Moscow. You take a train and, well, sit for 12 hours straight. What if I tell you that this Russian project can cut this travel time down to just 3.5 hours? Impressive, right? Enter the Moscow-Kazan High-Speed Railway. This 770-kilometer megaproject was designed in September 2017 to revolutionize Russia's mass transportation. The train can reach a max speed of 400 km per hour and is intended to make domestic travel faster and more efficient. Originally scheduled for completion in 2023, the project was delayed owing to high costs and feasibility issues, stretching the deadline to 2027. The railway costs $25 billion, making it one of the most costly high-speed rail projects in the world. China has pledged $6.2 billion to help fund it, but only if Chinese technology and equipment are used, a deal that emphasizes Russia's deepening economic connections with Beijing. As this project completes, it is expected to host over 10 million passengers in its first year and will gradually increase to 20 million passengers by 2035. Where does the Moscow-Kazan high-speed railway stand against other high-speed trains, and more particularly from Japan and China? Unlike Russia, these countries have a well-established and planned railway system, which makes them all the more efficient. Due to its vast geography and extreme climate, it's difficult to build a mega-project like this. However, this project will certainly revolutionize Russia. The Northern Latitudinal Railway, or NLR, is a railway line that stretches 707 kilometers across Russia's freezing north. It is a game-changing project that aims to unleash the Arctic's immense riches. This ambitious railway will connect industrial hubs in western Siberia to ports on the Arctic Ocean, establishing a direct transit route for the region's huge energy output. The Arctic is Russia's economic gold mine accounting for 25% of global gas reserves and 12% of its oil. It also accounts for an incredible 90% of Russia's total gas output. With global energy demand increasing, Moscow is rushing to build the infrastructure required to deliver these resources more effectively. This megaproject will cost over $3.3 billion to complete and is funded by a public-private partnership with major investors being Russian Railways and Gazprom. Once the railway is operational, it is expected to boost Russia's export capacity by transporting 23.9 million tons of cargo annually. As ambitious as this project seems, building and operating a railway in the Arctic is not an easy task. Challenges like shifting ice layers, permafrost, and the deadly sub-zero temperatures has halted the construction several times. Even with all its obstacles, the NLR is a strategic investment that will surely help Russia excel in global markets. Moscow's famed traffic congestion has long been a problem, with millions of commuters and freight trucks filling the city's highways every day. The Moscow Central Ring Road, or TSKAD, is a daring solution to this problem. This 525-kilometer roadway is intended to enhance urban transit, cut pollution, and improve logistics around Russia's capital and beyond. Unlike Moscow's current ring roads, which are sometimes swamped by heavy traffic, this new highway acts as an alternate route, diverting vehicles away from the city center and avoiding bottlenecks. It spans 13 federal roads, effectively shifting traffic and relieving strain on Moscow's current transportation systems. The project has great importance outside of just city traffic. It is going to be a part of a larger economic corridor that will connect the Urals to Western Russia while seamlessly integrating with the country's incredible road system. This will allow for better supply chain efficiency, stronger economic connectivity between regions, and faster freight movement to boost economy. As of now, the project has exceeded its initial budget of $1.37 billion. However, the benefits it will offer makes it a worthy investment for the country. The next project on the list is the highly ambitious Power of Siberia. Now, this isn't some kind of folklore or story, but a gas pipeline project which stretches over 3,000 kilometers, and it's one of Russia's biggest energy projects. It is up and running since 2019 and is transporting nearly 38 billion cubic meters of natural gas 
from eastern Siberia's immense resources to China every year, solidifying the two countries' strategic energy relationship. The project is a critical component of a $400 billion agreement between Russia and China, intended towards a mega geopolitical change. For decades, Russia's energy exports were mainly reliant on Europe, but when ties with the West deteriorated, Moscow looked east. The Power of Siberia pipeline is a direct outcome of that move, providing Russia with a profitable alternate market while meeting China's rising energy demands. But wait, that's not all. Power of Siberia 2, its 800-kilometer expansion, is currently under works to boost Russian gas exports to China. The expansion will surely help Russia transport more gasoline to China, but it isn't a perfect replacement to Russia's European market. Nonetheless, this pipeline is a cash machine for the country, as it generates anywhere from $2.5 to $4.3 billion in annual revenue. At its core, the pipeline isn't another energy project. Instead, it's a strategic lifeline for Russia, as it strengthens their position in the global energy market. However, this isn't the biggest Russian project yet, as Russia is aiming for the stars. Stick around till the end to learn more about it, and if you've enjoyed the video so far, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now, let's get back to it. Next on the list is probably one of the most ambitious and groundbreaking Russian projects ever, the Arctic LNG-2. Situated in the deep, icy wilderness of the Gaidan Peninsula, this $23 billion megaproject is designed to convert the Arctic's vast natural gas reserves into liquefied natural gas or LNG for worldwide export. The project is being led by the Russian gas giant Novatek, who is looking on redefining energy production in the harshest environment on Earth. Arctic LNG-2 is expected to produce 19.8 million tons of LNG per year, transforming Russia's position in the global LNG market. The project is being constructed in three parts. The first part is scheduled to commence operations in 2023, with the second and third trains following between 2024 and 2025. However, establishing a big LNG complex in one of the world's coldest areas is no easy task. Temperatures on the Gaidan Peninsula may plunge below minus 50 degrees centigrade, creating substantial technical and logistical issues. To resist these harsh circumstances, the project employs gravity-based structures, or GBS, which are floating platforms that serve as manufacturing facilities, minimizing the need for traditional on-site construction. Situated along the Moscow River, Russia's next megaproject is the Moscow International Business Center, or Moscow City. This smart city is the country's attempt to build a world-class financial hub in the heart of Moscow. It covers an area of 60 hectares and will have futuristic skyscrapers, business centers, and luxury shopping centers, enhancing the city's skyline. It started in the 1990s, but economic downturns hampered its development. However, over time, Moscow City has become a symbol of Russia's financial ambitions, luring significant firms and investors. Some of its most notable structures are the Federation Tower, the Mercury City Tower, Eurasia Tower, and the infamous Lacta Center. Moscow City, with its modern architecture and strategic locations, intends to compete with global financial hubs like New York and London. As more multinational enterprises establish themselves, Moscow City is poised to become Russia's economic hub. Standing at a staggering 462 meters, the Lacta Center isn't another tall building in Europe. It's a marvel of modern engineering that will serve as Gazprom's headquarters. Its bending glass exterior serves more than simply an aesthetic purpose. It reflects the sky and changing weather, providing a dynamic visual impact. The building's construction is innovative, with the world's largest continuous concrete pour setting a Guinness World Record. Designed to endure high Arctic winds and extreme temperatures, the Lacta Center combines modern and sustainable technology, making it one of the world's most sustainable skyscrapers. Being the tallest building in Europe, this skyscraper will dominate the St. Petersburg skyline and symbolize Russia's technological prowess. Now, let's talk about the biggest Russian project, the Vostochny Cosmodrome. This isn't your ordinary roads, railways, or pipeline project. Instead, it is a 700 square kilometer spaceport in the Amur region that is specifically designed to promote space exploration. For decades, Russia has been using the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan for cosmonautics, 
but due to increasing complexities, this spaceport is becoming stagnant for Russia. Enter the country's very own Cosmodrome, Vostokny. As ambitious as this project is, it certainly has its costs. The project's build is surrounded by numerous construction delays, budget overruns, and corruption scandals, making it one of Russia's most controversial undertakings. Still, the Vostokny Cosmodrome defied all the odds and completed its first rocket launch in 2016. With additional launch pads in the works, the spaceport is destined for its biggest milestone yet, supporting super-heavy rockets for interplanetary missions. This is not just another infrastructure project, but Russia's statement to the world that their space program is not just surviving, but flourishing. And as space rivalry heats up, Vostokny might be the key to securing Russia's position among the world's giants. But the real question is, what's next for Russia? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and while you're there, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.